guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. If you are seeing my face for the first time, you are welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So this is another vlog. And I'm just going to be showing you guys basically what my life is like now. Basically. <laughs> basically. Um, you guys know that we are not they've read, I think they've eased the, the lockdown in Lagos and some other places while Potter Court in, 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 in wicked fashion, wicked style. Our governor has decided to now declare a total lockdown in Potter Court, like opposite, like when your mates are open, you will not open. When they are closed, you will not <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know, it seems just annoying, but yeah, we're on total lockdown right now in Port Harcourt, but Whatever, we're just going to make it work. I know that he has, well, I'm hoping that he has good intentions for, you know, putting this law. But we all know that it is not as effective as people are saying. Lockdown does not really change much. It actually worsens the economy. And that's why many countries are trying to open back up right now. Because <laughs> people that are not die from corona, they are going to die from poverty and hunger. Okay, but anyway... Uh, I just finished filming two videos right now. My birth stories, both of them for both my kids. Um, so if you've not yet watched them, I think I'll put up one now. And then after this vlog, I'll put up the other story. Okay, so go and watch it. You guys, I'm trying to bring out content for you. But it's not easy. Some people have reached out to me and they're like, I don't post more, post more. I'm like, post more of what? <laughs> post more of what? You want me to just... Wake up in the morning, come here, come, come here and say, hello guys, good morning, I, I woke up today, okay, see you tomorrow, and then I'll, I'll, I'll close the camera. So yeah, um, I'm trying how to bring more content to you guys, so you guys are also going to help me to be able to, to get out more content by being involved, okay, so send me your recommendations, your video ideas, and I'm also going to be asking you guys some questions, and then you guys should answer so that we can discuss it on our channel okay because our channel at this point too it is for all of us it is my space but it is for all of us okay so yeah that's that's just it okay that's the life of youtubers that many people don't know about it involves a lot of thinking a lot of you know trying to stay afloat because <laughs> if you're not careful on youtube you sleep you fall you lose okay you snooze you lose Okay, so yeah, like I said, just give me your video recommendations. And also, I even forgot this part. Ah, that's even the main reason why I picked up my camera, okay? Yeah, I'm going to be having the part two of our masterclass, me and Nelo. You guys know that we had a masterclass before, and some people were not able to pay. So actually, when we announced the first class, you know, people paid and the class was full quickly, okay? So, so many people were not able to pay that time because of how, you know, the, the class was full and we didn't want to just take more than we could handle because you guys know we do one-on-one -on -one consultations, we do a lot of classes even before the main class, we do a lot of WhatsApp coaching before the main class, okay? So we didn't want to take too many people. That was why it was sold out almost immediately. If you've not yet paid, if you're interested, go and pay now don't say it's not here because it will soon be sold out again no like we said we cannot take more than we can chew is um first come first serve okay so yeah you guys it's going to be exciting if you know anybody who was in our first um master class go and ask them it was so interesting just send me a dm and i'll tell you guys about more about how to register for the master class is 40 dollars or 15,000 naira you can pay through paper or direct deposits in our banks um, bank account so yeah i'll tell you more about it in my um on my dm if you come to my dm or send me an email but yeah like i'm so happy like i was so happy when i saw people's feedback for the first class because to be honest we're putting a lot of work into it if i hadn't gotten good feedback i would have cried <laughs> because we really took our time to put in a lot of work into the classes into the webinar itself the main webinar itself and then even analyzing people's channels because we had to go through people's channels one by one like every single person who registered we went through their channels and we're going to be doing it again in this um next one okay so yeah anyway that's it about that um i'm going to maybe i'm just gonna make lunch today i'm hearing somebody saying where is mommy Ooh, i feel like i did Mommy's not around. <laughs> but I think I'll just I'll go and make lunch. Maybe I'll make fried rice or something. I don't know. I think I'll make fried rice. I don't know. Should I make fried rice? I don't know. I don't know. 
anyway so um yeah let me go and prepare lunch right now and i'll see you guys okay the sponge is inside inside where there now yes yeah should i shift you closer yes okay everybody Kara is washing place for us today i thought you would stand on this this chair oh it will be too high okay it's too high for her When you wash, you put it here now. Anything you wash, you put it in the other side. Okay. You see? Give me more plates. You want to you want more plates to wash? Yes. <sighs> Don't worry, okay? Next time you'll wash more plates, okay? Oh, please. You can wash later in the evening now. Hmm? Oh, Go and rest, okay? guys we're done all right guys so i'm done cooking now cora and no eva and her father are sleeping so i don't think we'll all eat now let me just rest my body so i'm tired i beg after filming videos i went straight into the kitchen so when they wake up then we'll all eat i'm just going to lie down for a few minutes see my helper hi <laughs> did you enjoy yourself yes you enjoyed washing plates yes are you going to keep washing plates for us? Yes, I'm going to wash it tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Kara. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, let me lie down. Bye. So, I'm going to take my food now. These people are sleeping, and I cannot wait. I'm hungry. I beg. If they want to continue snoring, they should continue snoring there. Me, I am very, very hungry. So, let me just take my food. So guys, this is my food. I can't wait to go and dig in. This rice tastes so good, like so, so good. Um, see my people. <laughs> All 
I need right now is just cold water to go and swallow this food very well. Can't even wait. Mm. I need to wash my hands. I need to wash my hands. Why did you touch? You can take your own food though. No, no, it's for anybody else. So that's their daddy's food. I don't even know if he will, if he will finish this rice, but we'll go shopping like that. Maybe he will give Eva from there. Hello guys, good morning. Today is Saturday and you guys know Portacot is on total lockdown, like total, 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 total lockdown. All the stores are locked, everywhere is just closed. So there's really nothing to do. These days getting out of bed is just work for me like I, i'd rather stay in bed all day but i have to stand up you know today i literally had to peel myself off the bed like i peeled my first leg out <laughs> then peeled my second leg before you know i was able to get out of bed i even planned i was going to make akara this morning that one that she passed still because i just i just couldn't get myself to go and make anything uh so yeah but right now um right now it's actually not morning it's actually afternoon what was the time it's actually afternoon and the kids want to go and play we're going to have water play okay this is past 11 yeah so we're going to have water play um downstairs so yeah i just need to Man, i'm going to enter that water play with them we bought this inflatable pool for the kids and they're getting ready now to go and play there but me i want to enter the water so but i don't have swimwear <laughs> I think I have swimwear, but I'm going to be ashamed to wear my swimwear in the compound. <laughs> no, we so excited to swim. Hmm? We, we so excited to swim. You're so excited to swim? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay. Cora does not have swimwear. That's actually her ballet dress. Her, be her ballet outfit. Mom, can you cut your shoe? Eh? It's your shoe. My shoe? Where do you see? Okay, my slippers. Yeah, your slippers is floating inside the swimming pool. My slippers was inside the swimming pool. Okay, under it. Not inside, it's under the swimming pool. Yeah, Cora, Cora, do ballet for us. <laughs> Their father is inflating the pool. Yes, he's inflating the pool. They're dancing. To eat outside we've been playing music from the car since different niger music Wait, let me stay here before the music will, will. <laughs> so we're playing different um, jams from from the car and we're outside eating and enjoying so i probably will not play most of the clips 
Like, I won't play the audio for most of the clips. Sick, if I see. Butterfly! <laughs> World to see, nobody but Jesus. So guys, the party is over. I want to go and the rest. Um, the kids played, they had fun, like, in fact, I'm tired on their behalf. I think it's their tiredness that has transferred to me. I'm tired on their behalf, so I want to go and rest now. I think I'll just nap and then I'll come back and start preparing dinner, okay? So yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Who did that ever happen to? After that, who has it ever happened to? Please tell us another thing. You know, she, she endured all of that and then she gave birth to the child and went through all of that and impacted Jesus. Mary was powerful. So mothers, we just want to thank you for the role you play. I think it's George Washington, a former US president. He says, my mother was the most beautiful woman I ever saw. All I am, I owe to my mother. I attribute all my success in life to the moral, intellectual, physical education I received from her. George Washington said that and it's so true. Our mothers make such a difference in our lives. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 8 says this, My son, hear the instruction of your father and do not forsake the law of your mother. Hey guys, happy Mother's Day. I like making videos outside now because no cars are passing, no keke, no bike, no nothing. So I can talk very well, just listen to the breeze, listen to the you know animals <laughs> so yeah i just want to wish a happy mother's day to every mom out there every mom who is trying her best every mom who is struggling every mom whether you are struggling or not happy mother's day is not easy being a mom is the hardest thing i have ever done in my entire life is the hardest like hands down the hardest whether it's pregnancy or delivery or, you know taking care of kids taking care of young kids taking care of even my mom told me that it doesn't end just because your kids are now grown they're not having their own children it doesn't end when i was battling infertility for four years i think my mom was even more heartbroken than i was like it was that bad anytime anything happens to me and i'm in the hospital either doing one procedure when i had my miscarriage she cried more than me that was going through the miscarriage you know she would stay at night praying for me you know all that so it doesn't end don't think that when your child is now 21 or your child is now married that's when it will end it does not end you will not fall sit down so yeah you guys it's not easy having kids you know it doesn't get easier well it might get easier in some aspects but it doesn't get you know it gets tougher in some other aspects okay now that we have our children under our control we know where they are at every time we feel it's difficult what of when your kids are now old enough to make decisions for themselves to go out on their own to do things on their own and you clearly you know your child is making the wrong decision or you know, you're not just comfortable with the decision your child is making. It's something you still have to live with. So, yeah, any mom out there, just just keep doing what you're doing. Just know that your reward is in heaven. Special, special. God told me, don't worry. I spoke to God. He told me that our reward is in heaven. Special, special. Okay, and to any mom who, anybody who wants to be a mom, you know, something, is either you've not um, conceived or, you know, whatever it is that is stopping you, you know from carrying your child Mom, i pray i'm talking to my subscribers okay yeah so no, i pray my hair yeah so i pray that you get your testimony soon okay you're going to get your testimony soon Mom, because you're... you know battling such is very very difficult I know, I know. go and bath you see your dirty mouth you know battling such is very very difficult like i don't know how to explain it okay and for those of us who are raising our kids you know on youtube like people are people are judging you people are giving you tips and tricks and this and that just know that yes it's good to take constructive criticism but at the end of the day it's your child the one knows your child you know that you're raising your child with love and care don't let it keep you up at night and and this is directed um, at millicent zandax if you guys don't know her go and check her out 
Miss Zandax, the Zandax family on YouTube. She's one of my favorite Nigerian YouTubers. And she put up a post where someone was complaining about rubbish anyway. I won't say it's rubbish, it's not rubbish, but yeah, people were complaining about a certain thing. And to be honest, yes, I understand where people's complaints might come from. But at the same time, you guys have to realize that this thing, we're, we're all learning as we go. We're all learning as we go. We're all trying our best. We're all doing what we know how to do, okay? There is really, there's really no handbook on parenting that you say everybody must live by, okay? Even when you read books about how to train your children, how to discipline kids, <laughs> you can try everything and it will not work. Let me tell you something. It is God that still raises these children. It is God okay because i've seen children who came from the best homes and at the end they misbehave and i've seen children who came from the worst like you can't even imagine how terrible their homes were and they ended up being good you know from the worst homes the worst of the worst eight children in one room okay open to all kinds of abuse both physical mental they won't give them work to go and do something then they gave them things to go and sell they even got abused on the road by people they still ended up doing well they didn't join bad gang okay mm. meanwhile you see someone who was raised in a good home and then the person will not will not show up for exam <laughs> you know so at the end of the day it's still god that helps us to raise these children we do our best but you know god is god's hands that's why it's good for you know moms to be very 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 prayerful pray about Pray for your kids, pray for yourself, pray for your parenting. Just pray that God will guide you right. Because it's not by it's not by following anybody's mouth. It's not by following, don't do like this, don't do like that. It's not by following it. It is basically God's direction for your particular child. It's not even for all your children. My mama's ribbon. Eh? Ribbon. Ribbon. Yes. There's no ribbon. So, like I was saying, it's, it's for your particular child because how you are going to spank this child. I'm going to spank this child. Okay. Because how you raise this one is not how you raise number two. It's not how you raise number three. It's not how you raise number four, number five, number seven. Okay? So you have to just pray to God that he should give you the wisdom for each of your children. <laughs> each of them. Because to be honest, like you see children from the same home and they all take very different parts in life. Very, very different, sometimes scary parts in life. Okay? So, like I said, and I'm going to keep saying... As long as you are trying your best, as long as you are handing them into God's hands, don't, don't kill yourself or don't, you know, don't keep yourself up at night thinking about what people are saying or what people are not saying. Because at the end of the day, God is going to see you through. Okay? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all later. This child, this thing you're doing is very disgusting to me. Go and have your back. Oh yeah. Go and have your bath. Go and have your bath.